it's, it's a fairly large crime scene. Three arrests, two men pulled from a pond. We're just glad that we could get some closure and we it's found. Hard. All while grieving family members look on. We needed this. We needed this. The two men believed to be the victims of a violent abduction that started over the weekend in a Crest Foods parking lot and more. The bodies pulled from the pond near Northeast 50th and Sooner happened around 1 this afternoon. News 4's Lili Zhang live with those breaking news updates here. Lili. Yeah, Jolene, Kevin, very emotional day for the family of Jaron Moreland. Now, they were here as police were combing through this property that's right behind us. It's about 300 acres, and I am told it is possible that one of the suspect's parents own it. An Oklahoma family heartbroken. A great dad. Great dad. Young dad. Anthony Anderson and his family described the past few days as excruciating, waiting for answers on what happened to his nephew, Jaron Moreland. Police believe they have found his body, along with Alizé Smith, in this pond near Northeast 50th and Sooner. Good very, guy. very, good guy. very, very, Love very him. good Love daddy. He took care of his little boy. And now the little boy just going to be lost without his daddy. Oh. More police say the two men were meeting Brett Boatler and his brother, Kevin Garcia Boatler, at a Crest Foods over a gun sale, possibly off of Craigslist. The suspects claim they heard uh, a gun being racked or, or cocked. At that point, one of those individuals fired at the two uh, victims that entered the van um, and believe killing them both at that time. But we're told a third suspect identified as Johnny Shane Barker helped dump the bodies in the pond on this 300 acre land. While Moreland's family says this was not the outcome they hoped for. We're just glad that we could get some closure and we found, oh, thank they you. found Jesus, the bodies. Just closing and just closing the we needed this. Oh. We needed this. <laughs> Now, this investigation is far from over. The medical examiner's office still has to make that final positive identification, but police say they are pretty confident it is the two missing men. Live in Oklahoma City, Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4.